Your hypothetical is <laughs> so bad. Um, can you just reiterate oh, to me okay. one more time what I wasn't, the hypothetical is? I wasn't sure if this game was going to be controller friendly, but it looks like it, it is? is so far. I yeah, like this sound. that is. So Today we'll be playing Cubo and the two loud. strings, <laughs> and we'll be discussing philosophy. Whoa! I like his face. That's actually. Um, I like your cool face. Outside. James. Um, Whoa. Fun, fun fact. Which hat bends forward? They never uh, do that. We just jump right in. Kinoko, uh, apparently in Japanese, means specialty mushrooms. Ooh. Ooh. So give me your hypothetical. Just one more time. So I, I want to get some here. specialty mushrooms. Oh, um, so you are either, you get to choose one, um, a mold covered man you become covered in mold um skin okay. all skin replaced with mold you've got mild mold powers you can't control mold or anything but you can like split a limb off become two molds but but that's it aside from reproducing by like splitting off your lifespan will be greatly increased you feed through photosynthesis etc cetera, etc cetera. and oh decay they do you, not feed through photosynthesis i'm thinking I moss but let's go with mold. You eat stuff, you decay. Okay, okay. Or, or, oh wait, and the benefit is you get free Wi-Fi everywhere you go. Uh, <laughs> and then, so mold man with free Wi-Fi, or you are a stump. Much like that stump under the owl. Let's get a look at the stump. Um, sentient stump a covered stump. in mushrooms in a forest far away. And... That's See, it. this is I, why your hypothetical stump, doesn't work. Stump poor mold man with Wi-Fi. This isn't a my, hypothetical. This isn't a would, would you man? rather? My ideal scenario, right, is uh, I'm a mold man with Wi-Fi all the time. Okay. Right, and then when I when I like want to retire, I've decided I'm ready to check out. I would like to then become a stump that is consumed by you know the moss and the algae and. You could make that choice, and I suppose. Mushrooms. If you're Mold Man, you can lay on a stump and kind of absorb. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we just... So, so you're a moss man. That's a clever... The, okay, the bad part of the mold first man. thing is mold you're man. a moss... You're a moth. You're a mold moth. You're a mold man. <laughs> you're a mold mossy man. And you mossy get free Wi-Fi. Man. That's the trade-off. You, you get, get a bad wifi. thing, then you get a good thing. You get the stump, wifi. right? You don't want to be a stump. Mm -hmm. What is the... What's the good thing That's subjective. that you get in that? You said you don't want to be a stump. You don't want to be a stump. Why? You don't want to be a stump. Would being a stump be preferable to being a moss It's man. subjective. I don't know. Some, it's, a, it's an opinion-based question. I was your curious opinion. about your answer. It was. I haven't from, shared my opinion. No one's asked from my opinion. From the perspective of somebody I just who presented might the want hypothetical. to be a stump, why would you take that over free Wi-Fi? I can only guess. It, but if I were to guess, there's isolation involved in being a sentient stump. You get to live simply. You don't really need much. You. You uh, did not think out this hypothetical before you shared it with clearly the group. I did. I, clearly I did. I'm sensing a little bit of hostility, almost, right? Like T J asked you a question about mold and stumps. Yeah. And it seems like you you took that a little bit personally, almost. Because Do you have any stump or mold related trauma? Where did the stump touch you? I, I just want <laughs> can, can you show my me on this mold covered doll to make some sense. That's all I'm saying. Look, you know, I it it was a long time ago, and I don't want to talk about the mold. Okay, he didn't do anything, and if, even if he did, it was my fault. So stump you, or mold man? You uh, say you you're upset because you want it to make sense, but it's past two a.m. So any hypothetical Nothing. that comes up at this hour... My is... brain is not working, man. I feel like when I you're don't make any sense. ...at a sleepover when you're a kid and you're laughing at stuff and you don't know why, I, I love that press feeling. in the button. I'm pressing the uh, button Rhea. that's got no. the two little boxes Rhea. and it's not doing it. Hey, bro, I'm, I'm trying to talk don't to the that, Oddish sweetie. and he hasn't evolved yet, but he's got an Thank emo... You. Damn dog, don't want to listen. What are you? 
Maybe I don't have to. I think he's to. telling you to press the button when you're not talking to him. Why would I do that? Like it's a tutorial. Because you get to look. Because you get to look at the island from a bird's eye view. You know, the Finally, internet said this game should train. take about 20 minutes to complete. Has it been 40? We'll we'll see how long it takes us. Hey, I got. Tree. Well, we completed Spyro I just need in flower speed run record time. And so this should be nothing. He's purple like Spyro. Slope cap. It's either a cloud or a. Oh, it might be the rock. You need a slope cap. Was was the first guy the stump man? Um, you talked to. Was he telling you to knock the snow off of the trees or some such? Well. You have a snow now. I need a. You have one snow. Brower. You've acquired snow. You picked up the snow and it is now spring. Oh, it's those things from the Last Jedi. Everybody's favorite edition of Star Wars. The the porpins, the porkins, from the Last Jedi. Puff I horse. wish that they would do. Can you imagine if Disney greenlit like a standalone movie for porkins from the first oh my movie? God. It's I on want the like an entire. I might be crazy. I believe they were just called porgs. No, no, I think you're right. They're Porkins. Porkins buddy, is buddy. the character. Er, Porkins sounds like a dog treat. Porkins <laughs> is the chubby fighter pilot <laughs> in Porkins New was a Hope. hero. And I want to see an entire movie dedicated to how an obese fighter pilot became like a crucial member of the Resistance <laughs> before being killed by Darth Vader. You've seen a New Hope, right, James? Probably. Do you remember? I don't does believe this he conjure has. any memories for you that when they're flat, they're destroying the first Death Star, mm, and they yeah, like all sound yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. You know Porkins. Who? Porkins. I think he's just going like, yeah, I get. Are we still talking about references. Star Wars? Yeah, it's Porkins. Who is he? He's. No, Porkins, and he dies. Wait, he's like, they're on my tail. Porkins. Actually, aesthetically beautiful. I feel like you're Hexagon gaslighting me. Bridge. I feel like you're gaslighting me. I would never. Mm. <laughs> We're missing the Point beauty and art that's going into this game. You guys don't even know how ignorant you are. No, I'm absorbing it. It's just... I don't want to know. Blase. These trees are quaking aspens, all right? They're all... You can tell by the way they are. <laughs> you can tell by the way that they are. If you look close at them, you can really tell. Yeah, they got those, like, black spotches and everything. They're that's, quaking. That's one organism. Did time. you ever hear, like, the the story as to how that came to be? That video with the guy going, like, It's meat. an aspen. You can tell by the way it is. Yeah. I have not or seen I the original I just, I haven't, but, yeah. like, I know that video. Apparently he was, you know, in some, you know, national park or some such, and he was there to record something, and then a ranger came up and was like, well, what are you doing? I don't really think you should be here if you don't have any business being here uh, and then he made up some story about how he was like doing a you know a, a project for school about nature you know <laughs> to to like appeal to this ranger and this ranger was like oh cool and was like on board with it but was like i i just have to supervise <laughs> so he, that entire video he's ad living to like a real freaking guy as as far as i've heard that's um you can tell by the way that it is. Oh <laughs> yeah. Neat. <laughs> I would pay to see the full video. When I run, I hold the brim of my hat to keep it on. Well, you don't want to fall off. It's just a little guy. He's just a little guy with a little hat. Just a little guy. Legs, you see the thing about getting a sunflower from the ground, you gotta stick your fist in. It's like uh it's like in a crawdad out of them burrow hole. You ever pull the vein out of the crawdad and then put it in your eye? It's like clamming. I um it just occurred to me, I think I have this game because I got it as part of a humble bundle. 
Are you either of you familiar? Yeah, the Steam Humble Bundles. Yeah, like I got it buying. They steal your money and then I, give you a game. I think it came with like. Humble you. Um, <laughs> or maybe it wasn't a humble bundle. Maybe it was something similar. But basically, I it came with like a, a package um, with some like Unity assets because I was gonna start learning Unity like game. Make indie games stuff. Um, yeah, but you know ADHD and how that goes. I feel uh, you, man. I'm quitting my job so that I, I can have more time to figure my shit out. Yeah, I spent probably like two hundred dollars on like assets and stuff that I haven't even looked at once. Oh, bro! Uh, <laughs> Still, they're there when you're ready for them. Yeah, I um. You'll come back to I, it. I had an idea for something I, I wanted to make, and I, I got some assets and like textures and things that I, I think would look really cool for it. Um, but I just. It wasn't my first time, like, like, okay when you're right. like experimenting with programming, but boy, did it remind me how much I fucking hate programming. Holy shit. Dude, it is such a daunting beast. I don't know the first thing, and it intimidates the fuck out of me. Well, here's the gist. You spend a couple hours writing some script. Um, you might spend a little extra time trying to optimize it. Um, and then you run it, and it doesn't fucking work. You spend at least three times as long combing through, changing things, trying to figure out what the fuck is happening because everything looks as it should be. And then you find you added like an extra apostrophe somewhere. Literally fucking. Or there's a missing parentheses. Your needle in a haystack hunting. It's awful. Do you have any dyslexia, James? Nope. I think, I feel like I have mild dyslexia. Like there, there's certain things that I don't know why, but when I look at it, my brain just doesn't want to read the words properly. Oh, but it's only very specific things. Like um, the word dyslexia. Um, yeah, I, I think it says sex daily every time. <laughs> um, no, but there, like for example, there's a, a YouTube channel I really enjoy. Um, that I think is called um, Exerbia. Um, but every time I look at the name, I read it as um, Exubera <laughs> for no goddamn reason. Because you're exuberant. And I have to try again like four times before my brain... Exubera is my favorite like, Yu-Gi-Oh card. Re <laughs> ...realizes <laughs> um, what it actually fucking says. Um, but there are just a few things like that. Um, but to answer your question, no. I, I don't think I have... Any kind of dyslexia. I used to actually be a very avid reader, and then high school sucked all enjoyment of reading. Out Man, of me. I feel that. I there were like two books in high school that I really, really enjoyed reading, and um, dude, oh, for me, that I got assigned in class. I liked reading other stuff too, but it yeah, was it, like, was, it was the like the assigned stuff that I like. I couldn't handle it um mm. the the deal like the last thing that did it for me was great expectations um <laughs> oh god it sounds like stratford knows um the, i haven't even read it pain. man i've read a plot synopsis and it's it a is, little bit like you know it seems like there's good elements but it's not dickens best word. yeah it fucking sucked and every time i've ever heard someone talk about it it is like unanimously agreed upon that it is a fucking slog to get through it's just it fucking painful sucks. <laughs> it's like a will they won't they but you know it's a won't they from the beginning yeah and then at I, the end it's like well you're still rich and it's because you're a nice chap to be honest, and he's just like okay. Like I have a very good recall for like things, namely things that like I enjoy consuming. So like if I read a book or watch a movie, um, I can remember almost all of it very accurately um, for a long time. Can't I relate. I could my not deceive. retain any part of great expectations like my brain was actively scrubbing it from my memory as soon as i like put the book down it's like, like an immune like a cognitive immune system it like purging it filth. was just a miserable experience it's hard to be into a story that's 
forced upon you. I... Like I said, a couple books How do I? that I really liked in high school. Uh, namely, Things Fall Apart and The Odyssey I enjoyed. Oh, The Crucible. But that was more like we read the play and watched it with a movie. But I liked re reading through the text of The Crucible. Yeah, I think the... The last series of books I truly enjoyed reading um, was, let's see, it would have been the Beyonders series. Oh my god, um, I started reading that yeah. to a client the other day, and the like prologue for, I think the first book, hooked me really good. Yeah, it's, it's um, fucking awesome. Oh fuck, what's his name? Brandon Sanderson, right? Is I don't know. I think it's Sandy Branderson. It's I um, think it's Brandy Sandersuck. His, his writing is really good. Um, you ever he, read Mistborn? He uh, yeah, that's yeah. Um, I haven't read it. I like I started trying to read it right at the point where I was like fuck reading. Um, oh. Like right when it stopped being fun, and so I, I don't think I ever finished getting through it. Um, I offer to let you borrow mine, but my first in the series, I have the trilogy, but the first one is at an ex's house, mm. and it's out of commission for now. Coward. I, um, just I could text got her. around to it. <laughs> just haven't got around to it. I'll I have text a bunch of um, text for you. You, you should shit too. You should get drunk and then text them about it. I should get drunk and call that them. That that would be quicker. Um, I should send a carrier pigeon. Depending on which exit it is, I could I could drunkenly get them a call. It's uh, uh, it's Leo. Oh, it was, DiCaprio. It would be a much Leonardo more DiCaprio. awkward drunken call. I think I got too old for it. I think it would be a less successful <laughs> sales pitch if I called them, but I'd give it a shot. Uh, I you know could you help me draft a text? Could I only if I only if it's drunkenly ex executed. Let's go home. When we go home after this at like three, four in the morning. I think I can swim in. Let's this take game. a few shots and Does then it, draft a text to my ex. Do you just need to find a snow? Have you tried the fly ability? Looks like it. Oh, they snow in the and tutorial? a tree. I feel like I'm a little loud. Just my you guys know what I hear about racket. programming. You don't sound loud in my ears. Hmm. I sound loud to me, but. I can always fix it in post. I will fix it in post. Post Malone, that is. There's this new worship of programmers in certain online communities that's like, mm. yeah, there's a lot of incredibly qualified software designers, but it's also a giant diverse field, and all you have to do is cook out or like cook up a few lines of codes, make a like a website and then you're like oh I am a software developer and then you can tell yourself that you are as capable as a surgeon and you have more in common with them than you do Get with a janitor pile to the left. there's a snow to pile uh, left. Ah. and then in front of you is a tree yeah and then that yeah bonk I did it. I did it all by myself. The pillars of life. What did you say Kinoko meant? Specialty mushrooms. Specialty mushrooms. Sure. It's a Japanese word for suicide brought about by overwork. <laughs> 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 Well, there's a snow pile. <laughs> that one was really good. <laughs> it's a real word, actually. There's yeah, a no. real word for that. Wait, like, really? Little, little yeah, fox, like fox guy. Oh yeah. Strafford, go pet the fox. Like That's it's actually Kinnico. like suicide or just illness there's, and death it, resulting from overwork is. A sadly very common thing in Japan. They, it's uh, called like Kuroshi or something like that. So I'm I'm not at all surprised that there's like a specific word for it. Yeah, I was doing a, a I thought of the joke because the real word actually sounds like what you said. 
Holy shit. In fact, we should do a let's play of, there was a game on Armor Games I used to play when I was a kid called Kuroshi Suicide Salesman. And it was oh like- Oh my God, yeah. It was like one of those puzzle games, but the game was like, instead of moving boxes around to solve a problem, it was like, move boxes around so that you can figure out how to reach the spikes to allow yourself to commit suicide. Hmm. Yeah, I can't say I have ever played. It's that's one will make you play. Bit. That was one where I was like, it's one that my mom would catch me playing and be like, "What the fuck are you playing? Why are you playing this violent shit?" Really? Yeah. That my parents Pretty were tame, not man. sensitive about sex or like swearing or anything, but they were super sensitive about violence until we were about 16, 17. That is normally the opposite of like. That's just how my mom was. My right, dad didn't give a fuck, but my mom was very like. That, yeah. That was just her vibe. Super anti violence, super anti gun. It's the opposite of TV rules. Yeah. Yeah, my. I live a little weird childhood. My parents were pretty. They didn't like any of that kind of stuff in their house. Um, like, the only reason I got to play a lot of the games and stuff that I did is I saved up and built my own computer. Um, and at that point, they're like, well, you know, it was his money that he worked for. Like, it's it's his stuff. But they still made me set it up in, like, a highly, like, trafficked area so they could always walk by and look over my shoulder at what I was doing. There were, so parental, whoops, uh, there were parental controls on everything that, like, locked me out at a certain time and, like, logged everything I did and everywhere I, I, I went um, That's for, why for a long time. Anytime you know, I had a gaming system in a centralized location, I would save up my farts over the course of the day. I would eat uh, high-protein foods, and I would... I would uh, crop dust people as they went by just um, to Pavlov them out of checking on what I was doing. It's, oh, it stinks out there. It's uh, it's actually like kind of funny because as strict as I think they thought they were being um, I still got away with a lot of stuff like um, at my, my freshman year of high school. What do you think you do? Like they enter the room and it's like, huh, I wonder why my son's clicking out of a bunch of taps. <laughs> hear, hear me out. I'm hearing you out. Because um, after my freshman year of high school, I like I had failed that spectacularly, and then I was diagnosed with you know ADD and, and these things, and a bunch of things made sense all of a sudden. Um, it clicked. And I Lucky. I stopped going to like a you know traditional brick and mortar high school and started doing this. Um, it was a it was a hybrid thing where there was like a, a state funded online curriculum that you could do instead of going to high school. Uh, but then my parents also sent me to this place that had like teachers and tutors um, just in person for like extra assistance if you needed it. Um, not to brag, I never needed it. So I eventually just stayed home and they stopped paying for it. Um, but You're anyway, they, they had bought me a laptop to use at this, at this you know, um, hipster school. Um, and the idea was um, that also um, I, I had seminary at the time, <laughs> which if you're not familiar with the, the LDS church is um, basically it's just extra Bible study outside of church on Sundays. It's every day. On campus, it's weird. Um, well, some places like here in Utah, a lot of the times they'll just have like a place like at the high school or the college or whatever Adjacent. Um, where you can just like go after classes. Church um, at school. I had to go at 5 a.m. before school. <sighs> um, horrible. So like the, the idea was that like I would get up at 5 a.m. after not having fallen asleep until like 3 or 4 in the morning because <coughs> I'm an insomniac. Um, and then they would expect me to, you know, come home at a little after 6 and then start doing schoolwork. Um, I refused. I would just nap for a while until they got fed up and like made me get up at like 10. Um, and then I would just dick around and play video games. I set up a, a macro on my gaming mouse that would like I would just 
I would watch YouTube videos <laughs> all day, and then I would hit this macro that would pause my video and then alt tab to like my homework assignment or whatever. Mm. Um, but because ah. it's a robot doing it, like it was so fast you couldn't see it happen. So it was just instantly into the homework window and my, my video was paused and then I could hit it again to go back to my video. Smart. I, you were smart. I was never um, that smart. And then what I would do Maybe is I would, I would take that laptop they got me to use at the, at the hybrid school. I would take that into my room at night um, and because I wasn't going to fall asleep till like 3 or 4 in the morning anyway, I would just do my homework then because that's when I'm the most productive. Um, Slender Man is very beautiful. And so that, that, that long story short, um, I was able to sneak a whole ass laptop into my bedroom every night and use it to do my work and just dig around and, and watch YouTube all day. And really, um, that's what Kenoku is all about. That's what Kenobi was trying to tell us. You know, we're at 23 minutes, so we weren't too far off. Hey! So, now that we're done with Kenoko, Mole Man or Stump? I've stopped this. Did shit. you say Mole Man? Mold Man. <laughs> mold Man. My diction was um, off. Mold there was man no reason. Stump? Any Just answer the question. I don't see why there has to be we, contention. We, we got a bunch of. If I'm going to live in a nightmare, I would rather have cut scene, Wi Fi. Nope. Oh. Cutscene. Just cute shit. Um, I would probably pick the mold man. Yeah, I'm. I'm in the mold boat. Stratford. Yeah, I'll pick the mold man. Okay, second question. Pick little, the little, thing that has Wi-Fi. A little second louder into the mic, please. The thing that has Wi-Fi. Stump man, conscious stump, or <laughs> Japanese Kuroshi victim worked yourself to death. I would choose the Japanese one because then uh, Logan Paul will show up and I'll be <gasps> internet famous. <laughs> but if one of us killed ourselves in the suicide and forest, all have been worth it. It would be great branding for the channel. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if we got on Logan Paul, that is. Um, um, I'm still going me all purple and swollen in a tree. Stop in your second with the mic. hypothetical. I would still the pick the Kuroshi <laughs> salesman because my suffering would end and I would not live eternal suffering mm. as a stump. Well, not eternal, but like... It's longer. Years and years of suffering as a stump man. Stump time passes differently, I imagine. I... Uh, yeah, one year in human time is at least seven in stump years. Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> trees, as trees age, they get rings. Ooh. But they get a ring for every year. So it seems like they, Do the stump still get tree it? years are still just people years, yeah? Oh, my God, yeah. It, let's say when you become the stump, it's a 130 rings. It's at 130 rings. And then you live for another 130. 25 years no thanks okay i already don't plan on making it past 40 no james so <laughs> no i wasn't joking <laughs> all right <laughs> i watched you graze over the other ones like which ones would be appropriate for this? and then go back to Bedumptus, <laughs> and it was perfect <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Ended on a good note, right? If it's be uh. wait, I want to give my answer. <laughs> if it's between Stump and Kuroshi Suicide Man, I'm gonna go Stump. Did I completely off topic? Did I tell you about the time I spotted uh, an albino Dalmatian? No. It was the least I could do for it. <laughs> 